Alison, this is your first time speaking at the CBI annual conference. What are your impressions so far? Well, it's such a great event and an opportunity to get so many thought leaders, innovators and also representation from government as to how we take innovation and technology forward, but then also how do we protect our workforce. You're talking later today about how automation can work for everyone. What are the key messages you want delegates to take away from your session? So innovation at London City Airport has helped us build a, a great passenger experience. So we're using technologies, whether it's self-bag drop, uh, state-of-the-art security, uh, to how we work with our, uh, our teams back of house, um, delivering a new digital tower for air traffic services, how do we enhance safety and security for both our passengers and staff. So massive opportunity from a, from a technology point of view but also making sure that we focus on building the workforce for the future. We've heard from the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition today. What are some of the issues that you are looking for them to address in the near future? So for us it's being absolutely driving forward the uh, aviation strategy. We want to make sure that the, the passenger is, the, is at the heart of that strategy, that we build an airspace for growth that enables us to keep our global reach. Um, that we work generally um, to strive to build up our workforce of the future. We're holding uh, a STEM day in aviation at the end of this week where we'll bring 200 uh, local students together to inspire them to get involved in, in STEM activities moving, moving forward. And we want some certainty to post Brexit to enable sure uh, our passengers as they buy their tickets now for 2019 and beyond that they're going to be confident that those journeys will happen.